Hey guys, I'm your host Jaygun, and you're watching Mix Up the World. Sorry for the delay, guys. This video is related to working of printer cartridges. They are six, seven, eight, trackler and black inks built for HP DexJet Ink Advantage printers. These inks are a tad bit expensive as compared to other inks available in market. The main reason these are considered expensive is that they are said to be enough for 150 color and black and white pages, but this is not the case in real life. Now let's find out how they are designed, built, and why they are not efficient. That is expensive. That being said, without further ado, let's dive right in. As you can see right now, I'm ripping apart this gold copper connection cable. It transfers all the information from printer to be carried out. And this shiny rectangular thing is the nozzle which sprays the ink on the, on the paper. I hope you will like my choice of music for the video. Thanks. Well, this screwdriver for sure is very eager to be on camera. Say hi to him, guys. By fast forwarding and using the power of editing. We will slow down now. After peeling the sticker, we can see some holes that are five in number and some circuit-like patterns, which are definitely, which definitely have a purpose. While I am inserting this little hand in any screwdriver in these holes. I felt something soft and squishy inside to find out what this is, wait for a while. You will be surprised to see what SP serves us. Banging our way into this hard casing and transitioning to a new music, we made a hole. Yeah, very funny, huh? You see, there is something shiny and spongy inside, wait till you see it. Why this ink is so expensive? Yeah, a whole new tech is hidden inside of it. Well, sorry guys. I'm not very good at sarcasm, but that's a sponge. Only a sponge filled with black ink. Just black ink, a sponge. Yeah. At this point, I was already done with them. Quite a bit disappointing technology. Cause they cost 700 rupees for some sponges some links in the description if you want to check them out coming back to this cartridge i try to dig deeper into it but that is hollow yeah that is hollow we are paying for some sponge some black dabs of ink and some air yeah and some plastic not a whole lot of technology that we are paying 700 for them but there is something i want to show you guys See this black mesh, this cloth looking like mesh is what prevents ink from leaking out on its own. Ink is sprayed in a very small quantity through a very small passage from the nozzle. It is about quarter of a millimeter or about you can say two to four human hair line up. I'll show you the passage in a while. Well, I'm getting my hands inked. Yeah. By putting this blade inside of the nozzle, I'm trying to depict the dimension of the passage. By putting the blade inside the nozzle, I'm trying to depict the passage used for ink to be sprayed. Now coming to this tricolor ink, I was always curious why it is called tricolor. It turned out that it comprises of three colors and they are cyan, magenta, yellow. Cyan is slightly blue, magenta is a slight red and yellow you all know. And on the top of this cartridge we can see some design and same patterns as like that of black. But, a bit, but the nozzle is a bit thick. This ink is segregated into three quadrants, each for different color. Here also HP is using that very high-tech sponge, yeah. Taking help of, by taking help of this chisel, I'm banging into it right now to see some more sponges, yeah. Now 
and they are red blue yellow and editing for show makes life easier cuz in real life that made a lot of mess yeah a lot of mess so coming down to some actual knowledge that i want to provide you guys printer and inks follows a color format which is cmyk which i have told you earlier that c stands for cyan m stands for magenta y stands for yellow k stands for black yeah k stands for black b no k like display and lights they follow rgb picture format you might have even noticed that newspapers also have some four dots at the very bottom of the newspaper and they also follow cmyk that is cyan magenta yellow and black so guys that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it hit that like button if you find it entertaining or somewhat informative and if you want to see some more stuff like this in future consider subscribing yeah please smash that subscribe button that will be very helpful bye bye guys see you soon in next video